Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning report on Thursday the 26th of March with me Rich Perry Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. The European trading session has got off to a very weak start and that's come on the back of a big slide in US stocks yesterday. There was uh, concern that um, basically that this uh, general dollar strength that we've seen over the recent months is going to be really going to be impacting through earnings season coming up and uh, that certainly took a, a took um, Wall Street stocks sharply lower 1.5 percent down on the S&P 500 and that and, and then also the sentiment has been uh, exacerbated by the um, the news that uh, Saudi Arabia military action in Yemen is uh, occurring and um, they're doing airstrikes and they're contemplating ground forces as well and that is having a, a sharp impact on the price of oil in the region um, and certainly that is uh, spiking higher in um, in uh, today let me just show you the oil price hold on it's dollar index but we've got the oil price which is there and uh, sharp gains in this oil price now we're sort of seeing moves back towards maybe even 54 again so a significant jump in the oil price and that is uh, having an impact across um, asset classes as well um, generally speaking though the dollar index is continues to decline you've seen this um, this uh, improvement in the euro and uh, also the yen both of these um, markets are breaking through key levels euro above 110 dollar yen back below 119.40 uh, which is uh, or certainly was a, a key near-term support level so both of those markets breaking uh, these key levels and that is seeing that the um, the dollar index is now breaking away from this 21 day moving average and I've been saying that that is sort of the um, the key basis of support and I, I now think that that is interesting because it's going to be coming back towards that 95 and a half area and bear in mind that that 23rd of January high um, watch out for that key level that I'm going to talk about on the euro dollar chart in a bit uh, on my euro dollar analysis so at 23rd of Jan higher there uh, on the dollar index equates to a key level on the euro dollar chart um, but there's a big flight into safe haven assets gold oil um, well certainly gold the yen all benefiting and uh, obviously oil spiking higher on that Saudi Arabia news so um, big shifts in these markets today big sentiment change on the equity market markets uh, in Europe um, with a FTSE down over a percent dolly uh, so the DAX also 1.7 percent lower sharp moves lower on the DAX that's my chance of the day which I'll speak about in a bit so what are we looking out for in terms of data today not a lot and that couldn't um, that isn't a great bit of news actually for the uh, for the markets because you've got um, not a too much data to really sort of distract traders from the uh, the sentiment that was driving markets lower today and um, you've got the uh, weekly jobless claims from the states out at 12.30 uh, and that is expected to come in around 290,000 so basically in line with uh, the sort of pretty much in line with last month uh, last week and uh, it sort of continues this move um, in the last few months where uh, the weekly jobless claims are basically around about the similar sort of level um, continuing basis. Now, at 3 o'clock, it's interesting that maybe um, markets will be looking towards the Kansas City Fed um, index, uh, which um, has a... The, um, the expectation is that basically... Uh, that these uh, regional indicators may well become more and more important uh, in the run-up to this uh, potential Fed rate hike uh, to give us um, an indication of how the market, uh, how the economy is performing in these regionals because obviously the, uh, that would sort of build up for a composite of the, uh, the national. So Kansas City Fed, uh, that comes out at 3 o'clock. 5 uh, was the reading on the index last time out and it seems to be that it is still dropping away. Uh, interesting that if it comes in below 5 this time out again so that takes me to my chart of the day which is the DAX now that we've had a significant breakdown on this DAX chart we've been in this big long uptrend over throughout 2015 now for th almost three months and we've had a sharp breakdown of that downtrend the other fact that I uh, I'm pointing out is the the fact that you've got these the uh, momentum indicators now falling away quite significantly you've got the RSI breaking to a, a two and a half month low you got them um, the stochastics also looking like they're going to be making a similar move um, and uh, it certainly looks like this downtrend sorry this uptrend has now been broken on the daily chart looking on the hourly chart we've actually got a top pattern in place here with a breakdown below se uh, 11787 if you take a conservative target it gives you a, a measurement from 12087 
down to 11.787. So that's 300 uh, points, and that 300 points gives you uh, 11.487. So it's interesting that we're we're going to be probably coming back down lower now. Uh, there is a, a, a sell-off that is accelerating now into this DAX. Um, you've already seen. Um, Actually, we're actually currently in the day low, so that makes my initial support on the DAX uh, obsolete anyway. But um, eleven six hundred is the in, is the next real support, and that was the the top of this consolidation band that we had um, the first few days of March. So it looks like we're coming back into this consolidation band that we saw during those days. Um, and it could quite easily be seen. That is the target eleven four eight seven. Um, the confirmation of this move actually on the deterioration is seen on the hourly chart as well, and the, on the momentum indicators with the RSI now falling back below thirty. That's not been seen. Good lord! Since that rally began, so that is a that is an indication of this uh, correction. The DAX may well be beginning to. Uh, come through now so that that leads me to sort of question how sustainable the bull run is now on the DAX obviously with generally speaking just a, on an economic basis uh, the DAX has been impacted by the the strengthening of the euro um, which we've seen over the past uh, week or so and that is certainly impacting on the DAX um, uh, because of the high exporting element of the uh, of the constituents in the DAX. So the DAX is suffering abnormally compared to the the FTSE certainly and also the CAC. Anyway, that certainly looks like um, we're ha in for a weekday on the DAX. In terms of your resistance levels, uh, I've put in obviously the day high, which is eleven seven three seven, and then obviously the big resistance comes in around the neckline of the top pattern uh, it doesn't look at the moment as though we're going to get a pullback um, but who knows uh, you may well get one uh, this afternoon but certainly at the moment the volatility is fairly high you're trading outside the hourly Bollinger Bands completely on the last couple of hours so maybe the, the near term perspective is stretched on the DAX um, but at the moment obviously it's uh, the momentum is fairly strongly negative uh, on the near term anyway I wish you good luck in your trading on DAX today and I will speak to you later thank you